So what actually happened leading to you being locked up and like how much time did you do overall? Oh, so basically, yeah, it's hella room. Like it was hella rumors and shit. My motherfuckers was acting like I got dope cases and all this weird ass shit. Like I went to jail for lean. Like like 2017, I caught a case where a nigga had nigga had told on me and shit. I was supposed to I was supposed to supposedly selling him some weed or some shit. And he ain't want the weed when I pulled up. So I drove off with the weed and the police pulled me over. I had some weed and some lean. I never got to tell the story because it was all going, it was all ongoing. So I ain't never get to explain myself. I ain't really want to explain myself anyway. But mm -hmm. so I get to catch the case with the weed and the lean. But I got gun license then. I never had no, I never had no priors or none of that. So I got gun license. So they give me a charge. A lower charge for the gun license because even if you got gun license and you committing another crime, you feel me? You can't right. do that. So it's still a gun charge. And it was my first charge ever. Your uh, first charge ever. It was my first charge ever. I'm grown as hell. Like, I'm, yeah. I mean, that's good. Like, all these niggas that be out here proud to be going to jail and shit, like, nigga, this is my ninth number. Like, you suck. Like, like I'm doing way raw shit than you and I am staying out the way. Like, right. so basically, I'm fighting my shit the whole 17. And due to like some work we did, some shit we did, we did hella charity work when AB first came out and all this shit. We speaking at hospitals, burn centers, jails, all type of shit. Right. We doing hella raw shit. So we got a relationship with the people, like the prosecutor and shit. Not even on no, you feel me? Not on no personal shit. We don't know them on no cop shit or nothing, but they just, we got a reputation for doing good shit in the community. So right. they pulled some strings so that I can go to rehab instead of going to jail the first time. Which I probably wasn't going to jail anyway because it was my first offense ever. I was going to get probation anyway. So I get the rehab and shit. And I'm still, on while I'm, while I'm doing the rehab, you have to complete the rehab and you got to complete the whole time after the rehab in order to get the shit off your record. Oh. So I completed the rehab. That took like seven, eight months. Then, um, y'all know I'm still high. I'm high right now. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm still, I completed the rehab. I don't stop drinking lean. I, I get a month, another motherfucker set me up on some lean shit. Matter of fact, I'm with Cook. I'm with, I'm with Mills. This, like, this, like, all these, all the cases was 17. Like, it went, went bad in 17. Like, so, so right before I took the probation, me and Mills riding around, and a lady called me and said she had some lean for me. I'm like, this, then she disappeared for a couple of hours and she popped back up. I'm like, bro, this is the cops. Like, we so thirsty, though. Motherfucker, like, me was like, bitch, she ain't the cops. Go get it. Like, he, everybody seemed like it ain't skept right. when, <laughs> when you want something from them, though. Like, mm -hmm. So he like, bro, go get it. I'm like, nah. Like, he like, bro, go get it. We ain't got it. I'm like, all right. So I go get it. She tell me to go in her house and grab it out of, she say she at work. She say, I left it in the refrigerator before I went to work. Run in the house and grab it. I left the key outside. She said she went to work at six o'clock this morning. We get to her house like two in the afternoon. I go grab the lean out the refrigerator. It's warm as hell. Like it ain't been in the refrigerator that long. Like, oh, I'm going to jail. I knew it. As soon as I touched it, as soon as I, to I'm going to jail. So I touch it, grab it. I hop in the car with me. It was like, yeah, she just said this been in here since she's been at work. That's like six hours, brother. Like this shit is hot as fuck. Like they just put this in here. I'm about to go to jail. Drop me off so I won't be in the car with y'all. I hop in my car, cooking them, hop in my car. We about to go to the studio. So the lady telling me to meet her and pull up, pull up and give her our money. I'm not dumb. Like right. I make sure we don't got nothing on us. I got cook, racks in the car. Look, these is all reputable names. <laughs> like you can really check on these people. Like, yeah. I tell them like, hey, don't move, brother. We about to get blitzed. Racks, rack, racks got gun license. He got the strap on. At the time he did. He he. Yeah, we all folded our gun licenses. Nobody got that shit no more. <laughs> so Damn. we uh we in the whip. I'm like, bro, don't nobody move, bro. We about to get blitzed. Cook like, what you mean? We about to get blitzed. I'm like, bro, I know how this shit go, bro. As soon as I put this car in drive, we're about to get blitzed. They like, all right. I put the car in reverse. <laughs> Everybody hop out there. We in North College Hill in front of Perkins. Seventy cars hit us. Ah, everybody get on the ground. I'm like, what? I'm like, man, listen, man, they don't got nothing to do with this. Like, just take me to jail. Like, let them take my car and shit. Let, they let racks take my car and everything. I'm like, let them take my car and shit. Uh, take me to jail. All this shit. We do all that. They they let all that shit go. But that that time right there really saved my life. 